home now. Uh, every year we uh, try and bring you uh, different horses to look at and uh, perhaps a little bit of explanation on, on real dressage horses. And uh, I think I bought two very special horses for you to see today. And uh, we're going to work outside the arena just to save the ground inside, so uh, you'll just have to bear with us. We're just going to, first of all, look at paces and uh, what is expected from young dressage horses. Badminton is host to the Young Horse Dressage Championships, which are held here in July. And they're sponsored by Derby House, and we have the best prize money for this class on offer in this country, £3,000 to the winner. So it's actually turned into a very prestigious class uh, for, for us to try and win in, uh, in, in dressage world. So the first horse that you can see trotting around, the big bay horse, the Charlotte Dujardin, who's a rider for me, is uh, riding a horse called Winston Bond. And he's owned by myself and uh, Claire Crocker. And he is by a horse called 007, hence how he got the name Bond. And uh, he is, I think, probably one of the best movers, young horses, that I've ever uh, bought. You can see he has an incredible scope in his trot. And we're going to show the difference because she's on a five-year-old, who's Winston, and I'm on Vallegro, who's probably won more championships for young horses than any horse um, that, that we've certainly ever had. And just show you the difference that a year can uh, make between a five-year-old and a six-year-old. So, first of all, we just look at why I think Charlotte's horse is potentially a big winner of young horse classes. And that is, obviously, the scope and looseness of his paces. So also, if you look at the way he canters, he does have a very attractive, big, loose stride. If you look at his hind leg, he has a very good bend in his hock, and he's got this enormous ability to really cover the ground for a young horse. What's so difficult when you buy a, a, a big moving horse like this is the fact that it's not so easy to collect them because everything's very big and very forward and at the moment all we want him to learn is to find this nice balance that you can see and um, just show some scope. If you um, come back to trot and just change the range, Charlotte. In fact, first of all, just do a little bit of lengthening down the long sides in the trot. So for a five-year-old horse, what you expect to be able to see in the lengthening is just the rhythm staying the same. So if you look at, look, Charlotte. <laughs> I can't keep a flow to my conversation when you make mistakes. <laughs> um, there's one reason, and one reason why I have the mic and she doesn't, because she does like to answer back, so she was de mic today. Just lengthen. <laughs> so I think you can see the two strides he did manage when he does actually get it is, uh, is big potential for the future obviously if he was doing a dressage test and he breaks into canter then that's going to cause um, quite a, a, a few errors and perhaps low marks but at the moment uh, what the judges are looking for is that ability and that potential to open his stride which he's going to show you in a minute. <laughs> um, these young horses though, you know, it's a very special type. It doesn't mean just because you buy a horse like this that's fantastic moving, that that's going to make a Grand Prix horse. You know, this type of horse, very good. Very good. <laughs> but of course, there isn't a dressage test made where you can have four goes in it. So, uh, she wouldn't have actually won that. <laughs> but anyway, again, you just try him down the long side again, just the big steps. Very good. Wonderful ability there, you can see, just say, hey, nothing gets faster. He just gets higher. So just canter and just show the same thing in canter. So a five-year-old would be expected just to show length and strides in, in, in trot and canter and then the uh, walk on a long rein. Now he has the same lovely ability in his canter as well. He has very big 
strides again. If he's going to learn to do transitions, well, obviously what's easy for him at the moment is to go forwards because that's natural for him. So again, if she lengthens the stride in the canter down the long side, that we're looking for there, that the rhythm's not faster, just bigger, and already you can see how advanced he is showing you his flying changes, <laughs> which uh, we'll come on to in a minute. Again, the interesting thing is when you have a horse who's so naturally talented like this one, is obviously learning things, you could just see like flying changes, um, is not going to be a problem. And uh, with dressage horses, we were discussing this morning watching the um, uh, Ventus changes, and um, you, you know, you would imagine uh, that by the age of 10, 11, 12, that they would be very confirmed in their changes. And sometimes flying changes take a very long time to teach. So we like to try and teach them at five years old. Um, but the last time Charlotte tried to do a flying change on him at home, he bucked her off, so I won't uh, ask her to do that here in this ring. Um, but it's very important to start it at an early age so that they learn how easy it is, and then by, in two years' time, hopefully, he'll be very confirmed at that level. If you just show Charlotte now just trotting around the ring and just stretch him, so in a young horse um, test, we have to show uh, that you can stretch a horse. Now, the whole point of stretching a horse is to show that you haven't man manufactured the movement. So as you can see, he puts his neck down and he just stretches his back. The interesting thing about him is nothing changes again. Very natural mover. You can see his rhythm doesn't get faster. He needs to really put the neck down. What he has to learn to do is put his neck right down towards the floor and still show the judges that A, he's energetic. He's not going to fall over and trip over himself. And his strides are still loose and elastic. So it's a very important part of training. You know, stretching a horse is something that you really need to think about in training. You don't just ride the horse on the bit, which is where you expect to see it in a dressage test. If you think about it, dressage is um, uh, it's making a horse athletic. It's exercises. So you can't keep him in the same place and expect him to become athletic. He has to stretch, he has to collect, and he has to bend, and he has to uh, go straight. So all of those things are very important to think about in your training. If you just give him a walk a minute, and again, one of the most important parts of paces for a dressage horse, if I was buying a dressage horse, is the walk and the canter. I mean, this horse happens to have all three paces. But if the trot isn't so good, that's something that can be worked on. But again, when you see him walk, he's got a very nice walk, like a thoroughbreds, you look where his front foot's landing, he gets a lovely big overtrack with his hind leg. And again, this would be very well rewarded in a young horse class. So he has done two shows this year, that's all. We, uh, because of his size and the way he moves, we haven't done a lot with him, but he's done two shows and he's won them. And he's also scored uh, a perfect 10 in a test. And I can tell you now that 10 is one of the most difficult things to get your hands on, especially before lunch. And, <laughs> You know, for, to have a horse that's achieved uh, a 10 at his age, and that was just uh, for his star quality. So, um, I shall move on to my horse now. A little round of applause, Charlotte showed the horse beautifully. And I think, you know, shows there how a young horse should be ridden. Very soft, very long, very easy and without any tension. And I think you can see, by the way, he's walking now. Looks like the ACP has worked. <laughs> Not really, that was a joke. 